Hello, Luigi Noise. This is Luigi X Rules playing Mario and Luigi. Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey. In the last episode, we explored some more of the energy hold. Unlocked this drill ability that we can't use here, but. And we also unlocked the star door. This episode, we are going to be continuing beyond the star door. Eventually, there we go. We did see this cutscene for some reason. Now we can go through here. And wow, mine is actually pretty low on HP right now. And we can see that they will. Shoom, over there. <laughs> Shoom. Alright, now we do have some piranha corpse to take care of. Okay, I found a new strategy that takes the Prana Porps out slightly faster. Use the Yuhu cannons. Anyway, there's a little bunch of pipes, but if you check them, some of them will have stuff. And, as you can and we'll be able to collect a ton of coins here, but as you can see, there's another room, and if you look on the map, it'll tell you exactly which pipe it is. Looks like it's a green pipe? I don't know, I'm red green color blind, though, so it could be red. Or we could have to fight more Piranha Forbes. Uh, have we seen the Piranha Forbes rare item? If not, it's the Softener Gloves. Oh. I guess since the Super Bouncer is reduced cost, we can try it. I don't know, I don't think- I still don't think I'm very good at it. So what you gotta do is you gotta hit him up and then you gotta... Luigi will... Tilt one direction, and you gotta... Tilt them the other way to make sure he stays on. And I have no idea what to do for the last hit. I'm sorry, most of that was on the top screen, so I guess you couldn't really see it, but... I guess that's another reason to not use it. <laughs> Alright, now I believe it's this pink pipe that takes us down here to find... Whoa! Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fun. And uh, the Vengeance Patch. Let's check out some of that new gear. Alright. Um, not medical wear. Let's see, what does that Vengeance Patch do? Increases all of the wear stats when the brothers can. That doesn't sound all that useful to me. And will occasionally lower an enemy's defense after the wear hits it with a hammer attack. If you're into softening types of things. And gives the air wear extra coins for completing a battle without taking damage. It's basically a perfect bonus from Paper Mario Sticker Star, I guess. Yes, I just referenced Paper Mario Sticker Star. Alright, let's fight some more. Ooh, yay! Both of them leveled up! Which means... Flower rank! Now, we do have the new... Um, badge boost and lucky and good. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we could do badge boost. Increases your badge energy gained by small amounts or increases the power of the lucky hits, not chance. Hmm. I guess we could just give him Beefy Bro for now. Wow, that was like three for each one. No. Really, dude? You're like 10 BP more than Luigi. Alright, and since he reached level 18. We also have the flower rank for him. Alright, so now we can do, um, let's do badge boost for him. Only two BP is not what I want to do. Alright. No. There we go. Why is his speed so low that they think they need to... His speed is higher than his BP now. In the original game, this rank was called Shine Rank. Oh, and there's invisible platforms here. Why did they change it from Shine Rank to Flower Rank? And actually, I guess Boomerang Rank was... Boomerang Rank was Flower Rank. And now what you can do here is you can go over here, collect a hundred coins, it looked like. Oops, too early. Alright, luckily these enemies don't respawn that quickly. So let's go over here and go across. 
Just gotta go over and then over and then get up here to more coins. Lots of coins for some reason. Now, ooh, a star candy. That's good. And we can just climb up the rest of the way. Maybe we got another one of those light puzzles. I don't think there's any items in the way. Just gotta keep track of the camera position for these spin jumps. You can get up here. Oh, there's probably an item over here. If I can get to it. I guess I can just press Y to jump as well. Alright. Ooh, a super nut. Yep. Alright, and some of you probably saw this Qualop. Have we seen a normal item for that? If not, it's the super nut. Alright. That guy's down, finally. Hey. And we got 50 coins there. So now let's go over here. Hang on, how many of the beans of this area do we have? Um, doesn't say there. I suppose it'd be in the records. Uh, oh, we're showing all of the old areas that we have. Um, we're still missing three. I hope they're not in previous areas. Or in any of those pipes. They could have been in those pipes, I guess. Well, hopefully I didn't miss them. Looks like we got some coins. And, ooh, a super syrup jar. Um, doesn't look like there's any beans here. Let's go across. Oops, I think that's gonna miss. Yep, well, whatever, we can just go across down here. Then get up here like that. Ooh, delicious gloves. What do those do? Um, make all consumable items delicious and double the HP they recover. So I'd assume not just mushrooms then, right? It's any restoration item? Anyway, more polyps. Ooh, and if we haven't seen the rare item, it's the dent gloves. Alright, what do the dent gloves do? Um... Allows the corner to occasionally defeat an enemy with one name. We've already seen those, haven't we? Pretty sure we've already seen them before. Anyway, we got one last plop to take care of. This recording is already 20 minutes long, and we're not even at the long part of the episode yet. Can't really do anything up here except, I guess, collect these super nuts. And go down here, too, and push that up to get into energy. I promise you I was not speeding that up. It's just that fast. That's a lot faster than the original, I must say that. Some of these cutscenes they made a, a lot better. But those battles take super long. Oh hey, a save block. Huh. And that's where the star is in this room. And now, there it is. Enough! Persistent men are due! What is it you want with me? You can talk. Hmm? The Dark Star? Princess Beach captured? Mushroom Kingdom overrun? Ah. Tragic, truly tragic. My sympathies. You want me, a sage, to give you and nobody the star cure? Oh, yeah. Mhm. Mm I don't know about that. What, what physical proof do you have that your story is true? Why should I believe you? Uh. The star cure was entrusted to the soul care of me. Wisdom. Okay, so it has a name. Why would I hand it over to men who lack any credibility? Hmm, you're quite persistent. This troubles me. You chase me without flagging. 
You demand the stock, you. Rather brazen, methinks. Yeah. Hey. Tut tut. Lost that temper. Somewhat childish, no? And yet amusing. Regrettably. Hey, can you please stop bullying him? Very well. If you are so insistent that I give you the cure, we will battle for it. It's like, uh. A battle with wisdom! The winner will own the star cure! Yes? Then we begin! Wisdom battle sequence start! Boss time! And? Got some kind of meter up there. Let's just attack him with what we've got, like this jump helmet. Alright, because now it does decent damage at this point in the game. It was like 60-something, maybe. No, I didn't see what level he wanted. Or oh, I guess it's a few. And once you attack, as you can see, that meter filled up when we attacked it. Now we just gotta attack him. And hey, the meter filled up with that counter-attack, too. Alright, then, uh, might as well just use the green shell. Oh snap. And... Uh, with that attack, the meter's all the way filled, so maybe I shouldn't have done that. I guess it's quantity of attacks, not how much damage it does. Because now... Look, it's a cute little wizard in level 18. But we do have the magic rod. When you attack it, it deplenishes. It's deplenish away. And now it'll make a heart thing. And on the top screen you can see who it's going after. It'll appear really quickly. And they'll get sad whenever you bully it by destroying it. And it also gets sad when you try to destroy its heart wand. But and if you attack it then the meter will defill and then it'll revert back to a tiny little bug. Rinse and repeat. Although we have not seen all of its attacks. That's the only attack you can do when in mini bug form. Oh yay, jump helmet is reduced. Maybe I should have put the maybe I should get another budget budget charm to put on Luigi. Not sure if this thrift charm is really working out all that well. Alright. Gotta get an excellent with that. Now, guy has I'm um, doing 77 damage, but in the original game I was doing like what? 200 damage per attack. See how much they nerfed this? Because it does make it for more interesting battles. Makes it harder, but it feels a little artificial, don't you think? I suppose I shouldn't be that mad at nerfing the jump helmet because it was pretty powerful. They also made it easier to use. Is the thing. All right. Now it's going to attack. Gotta attack it back. So what one is reduced? Oh, jump helmet again, yeah. Okay. Let's keep on attacking using jump helmets, I guess. I'd say that um, the excellent socks are probably pretty good for this fight because I only use jumps on the star on the heart wand whenever it's filled. And that restores my BP whenever I jump on it, allowing me to use more attacks. Uh oh. I think that might still be an excellent thing. Yep, and we have a Phil Hart one now. Now you gotta watch out because you go a direction. And, um, really? You're not gonna show off what makes that attack special? Now, this fight, I wouldn't say is all that hard, but it can drag out for a really long time. Just like most fights in this game. Okay, so now you're gonna use this attack again. Hopefully you'll show off what's so special about it. No? You're not gonna show off what's so special about it? Huh, maybe in the second half, then. I'm just going to destroy your heart wand, then, if you're not going to show us what's so special about that attack. Man, I'm so sad whenever it's going back down. Well, I guess she 
it does have a defined gender. I'm pretty sure at least. I guess it's not technically defined. Yeah, I, I suppose I did assume it's gender. Which isn't all that nice, but eh. So jump over seems to be a great thing because the Yuhu Cannon would also fill it up quite a bit. And jump helmet just keeps on being reduced for Luigi, so why not keep on using it? That is very convenient for me. Alright. Now I just gotta go up here and just gotta do do the same thing over and over again. That's all I'm doing at this point. I can't really add anything to this. I don't know if it's weak to or resistant to fire. If I were to guess, probably resistant or normal. Maybe weak if it's a grass bug, but it doesn't seem like a grass bug. At least this is a lot easier than the first time we fought this as Dermite. Alright, let's hit you. Heart one's almost all the way done. Uh, let's, let's test it out, the fire flower. Let's see here. It seems like it would be resistant to something to it, right? Actually, that looked neutral. It, in fact, I think that's the same amount as the jump helmet. Why? What the heck? And now it's mad. So this boss does have fury. And what you do is it can reduce the size. And what you gotta do is you gotta, although it doesn't say, you gotta hit him a bunch. The original game, I believe, this only did one damage, and as you can see, getting it a bunch will actually reduce its heart meter. It's not attacking twice, even though it's... Huh. Interesting. Nice job. I think it's faster than both of us now, though, so... That's why the speed thing is all off. And now, it's a tiny theory. I don't know if it has, like, more defense in the big form. All I know is that you should try and do this. And now... Firefly did, like, basically the same amount of damage as a jump helmet for less cost. I don't know if, like, the first try makes it the reduced attack do more damage. I don't think it does, so... Why not just use the Firefly then? Yeah, I guess that did a bit less that time. But yeah, for less cost, why not? Well, I guess right now the jump helmet's less cost, so I might as well use it. Slightly more damage, too. Alright. This guy just... Oh, you know why it did less damage? It's because it's in theory, duh. Alright, now this is only gonna do 70. So yeah, pretty comparable. I'm sorry, this fight, this episode might be a bit longer than the original, just because the battles take forever in this version, but yeah, just kinda keep on using the fire flower, because it's basically the same cost. Or basically the same damage. Oh, unless you get a grade, then it's terrible. Alright, let's reduce jump helmet, okay. Nice. I guess you, we are getting more BP, too. So I guess the increased cost isn't that bad, because at this point we had like 30 BP in the original. Oh, 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 something. Ooh, lucky that's nice. Something I forgot to mention. I'm sorry for not posting much, but I'm about to be very busy. So, so here's the thing that he, that he can do. I mean, that looks like a she, right? You can sometimes switch the positions of them, so you, you have to pay attention. Now that she's in theory, we'll go. Like, I'm sorry for assuming genders, but that's a girl, right? I do you wait a bit, then you can start hammering on him. Just keep on hammering. Never seen it. Six eighths for some reason. I don't know why. 
Alright, just gonna continue attacking. The stupid heart wand. Luckily, it seems to drain. The heart wand seems to drain a lot faster in the remake. I'm not sure if it gains faster or not, though. Alright. So now, it's starting to run a little low on BP, but that's just because... But not that low, because of the excellent shots. Alright, let's hope this is enough fireballs to be a good amount of damage. Yeah, 66. It's a lot of mashing, though. I guess if your hand gets tired, then that's bad strategy to use. Now the um, super bouncer's reduced, but eh. And the firefly does not count as multiple attacks, apparently. Alright. Alright. So it'll probably, what I was saying earlier, it'll probably be a huge gap between the episodes from now on. Like, starting with this one, because, I mean, remember the gap between the last one and this one? Alright, I thought for a second there was going to die, but nope. Too optimistic, me. Alright, just use the fire flower and... Uh, also, I recently got a full-time retainer, so if my voice sounds a bit different, that's probably why, although I don't think it sounds all that different. You guys can die soon, right? See, that's what I mean by the fights in this can just drag on forever. It takes so long just to kill this stupid bug. Alright. Jump. 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 Alright, 70. Fully charged and still not dead. Holy cow, we've been fighting this fight for over like 10 minutes now. Might be a really long episode. Alright, get angry because we hurt the heart crystal. And we will do a bit more since it is after. Yikes, I'm sorry if this video is really long, but it's just how the fights work in this game. Believe me, if you think it's long, imagine how long the recording is. We're at 35 minutes in recording right now. Compare that to how long the video is. So that's the only amount of damage I do to it here. I wonder if it would be better just to attack it space. I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't know the true strategy for fighting wisdom. I would say that this is probably one of the longest fights in the game, at least the way I do it. I do, again, I don't know if I'm doing it the correct way or not. So, if you're looking at this for a strategy guide, well, I'm probably not the right guy to look at this for, since I'm kind of experimenting myself. I'm just kind of playing the game for you guys. So, I guess, oh, no, that's not gonna... Oh, well, yeah, here it is. Alright. Let's do a lot of damage to you, stupid wisdom. I'm taking, like, 15 minutes. And, hey, it's dead now! That was, like, 15 minutes. It's gonna be half the episode right there. Ooh, Siphon Boots. If they're anything like the Siphon Gloves, they gotta be great. Alright, level 19. Now we can... Wow, you have an upgraded speed in a long time, Mario. Now, Luigi... Well, I'm gonna check BP again, because I always do. Alright. Defense, I think. No, I just upgraded speed. Man, and you need stash. You can have the best stash in the world, Luigi. <laughs> so you have bested me on the field of battle. That's a girl, right? I, I can assume that's a girl, right? That victory has earned you the right to see me in my true form. Well, not too bad looking, hmm? Don't hit on me. <laughs> now then, I am one of the guardians of the Star Cures. 
We sages knew the day of the Dark Star Awakening would come, and so we awaited the heroes. We have met many times, you two well remember. The day Bowser ate me, along with the Giga Carrot, was the day our fates crossed. <laughs> it is clear we are connected by a fate that is beyond our poor comprehension. Um, does she like us? Please, your sageness, please give us the star here so we can start the Dark Star. Of course. Here, take it. Yay, we got one star here. And just destroy this. Hurry up with destroying it, though. And so my role here comes to an end. Nope, please stop following me around. It's creepy. I wish you luck finding the other two star cures. So I guess she likes us. Bye, bye, bye. But she still doesn't like people stalking her. Well, finally, we got one of the star cures. Let's get out of here. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Okay. You jealous, Star? No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Um, let's go. Let's just pretend I didn't say that. Hey, look, a new area. The Joint Tower. I never pay attention to the name of this area for some reason. It looks pretty cool. Kind of fiery. Mario! You guys found your way here too, by boobity! So I've been investigating this area, and I discovered that this re... Region controls the body slam. Body slam? Yes, by boogity. Body slam. If my calculations are correct, the body slam somehow doubles Bowser's weight while airborne. With that doubled weight, Bowser could slam into the ground with incredible force. See these three pressure points? If you stimulate them, you'll awaken the body slam. But right now, the pressure points aren't active. Stimulating them right now wouldn't have any effect. Something somewhere in this area must activate those pressure points, by boogity. Mario, Luigi, see if you can find something. Well, we do have this thing, this bone thing to spin, then. Hooray for nerve electricity. Now it'll power up the points. And. Whoa. Hey, my body feels not right. What's going on in there? The pressure points are active! Well done, by boogity! Alright, try stimulating those three pressure points, and we'll see what happens. Alright. Set to the side now, if we stimulate them. Then it'll go into the middle. And it'll automatically pop up to three, two. And now, right there. And now the whole thing will collapse. Uh, oh, no. oh, that looks like it would hurt. Going to bed. Oh, what's going on? That feels great. Abs are all red. Feels like power is building in my abs. Looks like something's happened to Bowser. Body slam by Boogity. I guarantee you, you can do body slams now. You okay, Bowser? Hey, can you hear me? You can do body slams. Chippy, what was that? Body slams? What do I do? You, uh, uh... First, the switch action is with R by Boogity. Then press Y to jump and press Y to get the drop. That's all. Hey, your voice sounds different. Oh no! I mean, no, not at all. Uh, by Boogity, I think I'm just catching a cold. Cough. <laughs> Yuck. Uh, um, sorry. Just yeah, just cold. Yeah, I I told you I did. It's the. Maybe you should try it to move it around. Oh yeah. Let's try him something. Excuse me?
first you do the body slam for the first time, and then she, Bowser says, "Yeah, your voice definitely sounds different." And then, to, and then Chippy says the line about soldiering on. Wow, whoever created the, whoever did the dialogue totally for redid the dialogue totally forgot that some of this stuff made no sense. Anyway, that'll do it for this episode, guys. In the next episode, we will be seeing what we can do with the body slam. Also, just so you know, the recording is 43 minutes long. Until next time, goodbye.